Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Monday, the 24th of July, 2023. Quite the eventful day. Uh, first of all, today was the release of the first DLC character ever in Street Fighter VI, Rashid. He's a return character from Street Fighter V. Uh, but in addition to that, today I reacted to apparently a uh, rant that LTG went on about me last night on his stream in reaction to my talking about him on my podcast yesterday, which was actually me mostly talking positively about him. Uh, apparently, people goaded him and told him a bunch of stuff that didn't actually really happen. So he went off on a big rant and a tirade against me today, um, or last night. So I did a live react to that on my podcast this morning. If you didn't see it yet, watch the Level 1 podcast from this morning. And that's why it's an extra long podcast of two hours, because like an hour of it was me reacting to him and laughing hysterically at the insanely ridiculous things he said about my appearance, because apparently he cares about what another male streamer looks like a lot. Like he really cared about my appearance and all kinds of other stuff. Um, give it a look, all right? So after that, we went to Street Fighter Six, and the new character, Rishi. Um, and I did his guide. I did his combo trials, some of them. I did his uh, like a little bit of training mode, and then I went to casual play for about an hour. So all in all, about two hours of me trying to learn the character, and then I finally went to ranked for an hour, and then my late stream tonight was another two and a half hours of ranked gameplay with Rashi for a grand total of about three and a half hours of ranked. So here's what I think about Rashid. He is very different from a lot of other characters because even though, yes, he implements dash canceling for combos, a lot of his gameplay is based on ranged and using his tornado projectile to keep people away or mix them up or fool them. Um, it's very unique. No one else has an ability like this tornado that can leave a tornado in front of him and it changes the properties of his moves. I feel like even though I played with him all day, I barely scratched the surface. Like, I think this guy's going to have so many mix-ups and, and things that other characters don't. <clears throat> I was using maybe half of his moveset today. Um, I was struggling to learn basic combos. I do, I learned two different ones. You know, one combo was good for, like, a bread and butter in the middle of a match. Another combo was good if I had a level 3 super, you could combo into super. But neither was, like, optimal in the corner. I didn't really know what to do when I wall bounced. So, really, you know, just learning the character for the first time, okay? <clears throat> Fought a lot of Rashid's today, too. Like, a lot of people were trying to learn this character. Um, after my ranking matches, I ended up in Platinum. And basically, all day, that three and a half hours in ranked was me winning a lot. I won quite a lot with Rashid today. For, for you know, perspective here, I, he's probably one of the best runs I've had with any new character. I was a little disappointed, though, because I felt like I could have been doing better. There was some missed dropped moves. Um, here's one thing I really don't like about the character. In his guide, it claims that he has a true re invincible reversal with his OD uh, spinning mixer, which is his, he spins like a tornado. The OD version, he goes up at an angle and he's glowing when he does it. It claims it's invincible. It's not. It's only invincible in very limited frames at the startup, so you can't really use it as a good anti-air, nor is it truly a, 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 a reversal at all. Like most characters who have good invincible reversals like Ken or Ryu with their dragon punches or, you know, Guile with his flash kick, stuff like that. They can do it when they're getting rushed down. They can do it when they're getting jumped on. With Rashid, this move is almost never invincible. It's actually better for, like, you do a, a hit string and they think that you're just going to stand there so they try to counter hit and then you do it and it blows them out. But really, it's not good for an anti-air. And what I struggled with today is that his anti-airs are not great. They're all right, but they're not great. They're only invincible at certain frame ratings in the middle of the move. And it's like, you gotta play with this guy a ton to learn the, the, the instances when each version of his spinning mixer is invincible for anti-air. So that was the one frustrating thing because there were characters like Marisa and Jury and Ken and Ryu and you know, just jumping normally. I'm like, anti-air doesn't work, gets, gets beat out. I even did the OD version, just gets beat out easily. It's like, that's terrible. He should have a good anti-air, he does not. So that's frustrating. But outside of that, he seems pretty strong. And I think that if I play with him more, I'll get much better if I watch tech videos. Because that's the thing. There was no tech for this guy last night. He had just come out. I was watching Justin Wong play with him on stream for like an hour and some basic stuff. But basically, you know, I don't know the complex stuff. I don't know the best things to optimize in the corner. I don't really know much. I, need to, I would need to watch a bunch of videos of this character to try to learn and optimize my gameplay with him. Um... So I, I probably will use it more in the future, and I, I did pretty well. I'm actually very curious to see once uh, Game Checker tech, uh, tacks up the wins and losses how I actually did, because I know I... Let me put it this way. I started in two-star platinum. By the end of the night, I was in five-star platinum in one session. 
but I was like two and a half, three hours of gameplay. I was that climb that high. So obviously I was winning a ton, right? You know, I mean, I'm almost in diamond at this point. So pretty cool. And I enjoyed using him. I'll probably use him more. Now, one other thing that happened today, there was a change to the way that you do the drive rush move in Street Fighter VI. And since I was using Rashid, I basically implemented it right into my gameplay style. I don't have to dash anymore. Now I can just hit the two mediums. This is going to be key. Excuse me. <clears throat> this is going to be key moving forward with all my other characters that I'm using. I feel like this is actually going to make dash canceling drive rushing much easier and i'm curious now when i play tomorrow night to see what happens with a variety of characters which we'll talk about in just a moment okay so great streams today thank you to everyone who is here who supported and had a great time with rashid today a successful day i will upload the remaining gameplay right now so you can see all of rashid tonight it was good stuff all right now what i can say is this for those of you watching this video there's going to be a follow-up on tomorrow's podcast regarding the LTG situation because something already happened today. I just didn't tell anyone, all right? I want to save it for tomorrow's podcast rather than derail my Rashid gameplay with more LTG crap. So tomorrow morning, we're going to actually talk more about it. I have not only more supplemental information about why this guy is so butthurt about me, but I also have uh, a follow-up directly from him. So I'll talk about this tomorrow, okay, on the show. So you want to, you want to know what that's going on with that? Tune into the podcast tomorrow where we'll have our whole follow-up segment and I'll let you know exactly what's going on. But if you want the full story, definitely watch the podcast from earlier today. People said it was highly entertaining. If you're wondering why there's low views on it, it's because everyone clipped it and restreamed it immediately. You know me, I'm doing gameplay and everything. Well, all the fucking restreamers and haters clipped it and put it on the internet so anyone who wanted to see it already has seen it. So they're not watching my version of it. They're watching the video version that's already out there, edited and shit. But you can watch the raw version, unedited, in context, all of my commentary over it. I did a live react to him. It's live right now. Check it out. Okay? So, what are we doing tomorrow? <clears throat> well, after a full day of Street Fighter today, I'm actually happy we're not doing Street Fighter all day tomorrow. We'll do a level one podcast covering Rashid, covering also this LTG update to this situation. And then after that, it's Final Fantasy 16. Um, I'm hoping we'll head into another story segment. We just finished a major one, so I don't know if we'll actually get to another one or not because we all know how the pacing of the game is bad and literally you'll do a story and then sit there bored for two hours doing boring crap. So we'll see how it is tomorrow, but hopefully more advancement because remember, everyone wants Final Fantasy done because once it's done, we can move GTA 5 into the daytime stream slot. Uh, tomorrow night, late stream, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. It's community night in Street Fighter 6. My lobby that I'll set up with a password and people will join me and we'll play each other and have a good time. I will now be trying to implement the new style of drive rushing and see if that makes the gameplay any better for me. It probably will be easier to do the drive rush combos now as long as I get used to it. And that's the key is I need to get used to it before I can really implement it well. So I guess we'll see what happens with that. <clears throat> but it should be a good time. Every community night that we've done so far has been great. And I'm looking forward to another one tomorrow. You know, probably more Rashid, maybe some Luke, um, Zangief, Dalsim, Honda, all these characters. Good variety of characters tomorrow. All right? Keep in mind, there is one more streaming day on Wednesday, and that's actually going to be uh, Blanca, and Blanca trying to hit master level. I don't know if we'll make it. We probably won't, but I'm going to do my absolute best to get wins and hit master level with Blanca on Wednesday, and then Wednesday night, more GTA 5. Thank you to those who are watching the GTA 5 playthrough. It's doing well views-wise. Please continue to like the videos, leave comments, get that engagement up for that playthrough, because that's the most popular thing I'm actually doing right now, and I'm glad. All right? Thank you all. Have a good night. See you for the podcast tomorrow, an update on LTG some fun Final Fantasy, and of course, Community Night. Peace out, everyone. See you later.